Hello, everyone. So I'm going to give some update about the NLP working group for the year of 2022. Next. Just a brief introduction of the NLP working group. I think one uh, we are probably one of the uh, longest working group. Uh, we start 2016, so it's been six years. And uh, our goal is mainly actually to promote one of the uh, promote the use of uh, texture data in EHRs to support observational study uh, at Odyssey. And uh, we currently we are doing uh, methodology and the tool development to really help uh, represent the texture data as well as the tools to actually help process those texture data using NLP. And we are also conducting cross institutional study especially focus on those study by using the texture data in EHR. And uh, another goal is really trying to disseminate the best practice of using texture data for real world evidence generation. Next slide. This is just some kind of meeting information. If anyone is interested in joining us, so we have a monthly meeting, which is on the second Wednesday every month, 2 to 3 p.m. East time, and we have a wiki page. Uh, on odyssey.org and as well as a Git repository, which we, we save all the <clears throat> NLP tools over there. And if you have any questions, you want to join the group in the teams, just show me an email and I'll add you. Next slide. So now I kind of focus on the OKRs for the uh, 2022. We have actually four objectives. The number one is uh, really about to revise the, the representation of texture data in the CDM, uh, mainly the no NLP table. Uh, based on the feedback, we're trying to do some revisions and also we're trying to develop user guides to actually help better use those CDMs for the uh, uh, texture data. And uh, the second one is really to develop uh, multiple NLP tools to help with the extraction ETL process for the texture data to the no NLP table. And third one is uh, uh, we want to conduct uh, at least two multi-site clinical studies utilize uh, texture data. And number four is basically continuously uh, disseminate and engage the community. Next. I briefly report the progress so far for each of those uh, uh, objectives. In the uh, first one, which is more about representation, of the no NLP table, we actually, I think one of the major accomplishment is we actually submit a paper on representing and utilizing texture data for the observational step, basically describing the no NLP table and how other people are using this no NLP table to do different kind of application. And that paper was uh, <coughs> starting <coughs> early this year and submit to the uh, Journal of Biomicroinformatics. I think it's a uh, one to two months ago. I need to keep tracking, maybe <laughs> ask for the status. And we also submitted a proposal to the CDM working group actually to ask for some modifications to the no NLP table based on the feedback from the community. And uh, 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 what we're going to do next is also talk about some more kind of intermediate table to store like a uh, modifies no types and the other additional NLP features because uh, uh, we do see there's a kind of uh, trade off of how we use the no NLP table versus how many other NLP artifacts will also want to be stored somewhere. So we're thinking about maybe some kind of intermediate table uh, will be a, a good option for, for this kind of uh, a feature from NLP processing. Uh, next. So the second objective is really about developing NLP tools for the ETL process to load from the raw texture data all the way to the no NLP table, as well as from no NLP table later, maybe to the Kinko tables. So we're talking about actually, we want to at least uh, 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 integrate like a four, extend four existing NLP tool. So we'll make those two uh, make the no NLP format as one of the output of those two. Uh, we, uh, so the tools could be, we already identified four people actually going to, they own the tool and they're going to do the, the extension. So Hong Fang has this med tagger, uh, uh, Ting has the, the, we'll work on the CTEX, uh, I'll work on the clamp. I forgot the name of a post tool. Basically some popular tools, we will make them 
will output the Odyssey no NLP format in the JSON or some kind of format, make it easier to export to the no NLP table. And then we're also writing scripts actually transfer the data from no NLP table to the clinical table. I think we actually published this on the GitHub. And also there's a big uh, effort actually really trying to normalize this no type, which is led by Kartik at the Columbia. We're actually now also talking to the PicoNet team, uh, the GPC network lead by Russ Waitman. They're also trying to normalize the no type. So we're trying to figure out a way how say from Epic, from Cerner, how those different metadata associated with the node type can be used to uh, uh, standardize the node type using the low income ontology. So this is the kind of thing we have a quite active uh, discussion over here. Hopefully this will be helpful for people to find the relevant notes for their studies. And also uh, uh, Huan is working on a new version of uh, an acne, which is converting the uh, UMLS to the Odyssey uh, uh, concept ID in the CDF. Next. Uh, object three is more about conducting studies. I have to admit we are uh, kind of slow in doing this uh, coordinating multi-site study and uh, want to um, learn from more others. And if anyone want to help, please uh, uh, talk to us. And uh, we are doing one post-COVID study uh, with four sites and uh, it's kind of slow for this project but we're also looking for another project uh, i think uh home farm and uh, uh michael uh, they both have another idea but it's not finalized yet so we are looking for more projects if you are interested in using texture data to do some kind of study we will be happy to work with you to to to, to do this and last slides i think it's about objective four uh, like I said, we have a monthly meeting. We have uh, in, invited presentations, project specific meeting like the no type. Now we actually have ad hoc meetings that are going on. And also feel free to send the questions at the forum. And uh, we're looking for more participation from the audience. Thanks everyone. Let me know if you have any questions.